Hey, welcome, Pastor Jeff. Another daily word, D-A-L-Y, <laughs> capital W. By the way, Jesus was the living word. He is to be honored. He is to be honored. It's all about him. And today, speaking of him, I'm talking about the risen Christ. Join me in looking at the third chapter of this remarkable book, the last one in the Bible, The Revelation of Jesus Christ, chapter 3. And it's all about, especially when you start in verse 14, I'm going to read 14 through 22, the lukewarm church of Laodicea. Well, guess what? That's the Western world today, may well be you and me, and the Lord's coming back very soon. He spits out the lukewarm. Let's read it together. It, this is the New King James. It says, And to the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, right? These things says the amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know your works, that you're neither cold nor hot. I would wish you were cold or hot. So then because you're lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. The Lord is not mocked. It's his universe. It's his word. It's his way, the truth, and the life. And so today, I really hope you will, you will repent as a daily practice, along with what I have to do every day and the rest of us that are part of this repentance remnant. There needs to be no lukewarmness. We got to get rid of apathy. We have to get rid of pride. We have to get rid of every one of those laundry lists of stuff into which we were born as children of wrath. Now's the time. And you don't need to confess it to a priest or someone. Invite the Holy Spirit in. We're going to read this passage in a minute where he says, I'm knocking at the door. I'd love to come in and dine with you. That's the place where you can repent. And verse 17 says, because you say I'm rich, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing. Well, does that sound like some of these Western countries today? Although they're now in devastation by this pandemic. But that had been their uh, crying call, hadn't it? How cool they were. And don't know you're wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. <sighs> well, yeah. That pride blocks the truth. Verse 18, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire, that you may be rich, and white garments that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see. And then these next three powerful verses, 19, as many as I love, like a great father, a good father, he says, I rebuke and chasten, just like a good father. Certain things that just can't be done, he's got to rebuke us and chasten, and therefore be zealous and repent. Repentance becomes a way of life. It becomes something to, to look forward to. You say an angry word and, and just check yourself. Hey, where's that in my heart? Because what proceeds out of the mouth comes from the heart. Lord, clean me up. That's repentance. You change your character. It's repentance. And so he says in verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone will hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and dine with him and he with me. What an incredibly wonderful offer from the risen Christ to you and me today. Let me read that again. If you could just meditate on this, I don't mean like a new age meditation. I mean, go deep into the word of the word of the power of this phrase, it would change your life. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I'll come into him and dine with him and he with me. Yes, Lord, we need you in our minds and hearts. Dine with us, we open the door. And then he says, to him who overcomes, I'll grant to sit with me on my throne as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. What an incredible promise. We thank you, Lord Jesus. And that's the word for today. God bless you.